बैंक निफ्टी और निफ्टी बैंक इज अ वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सेक्टोरल इंडेक्स बिकॉज इट हैज द हाइएस्ट वेटेज इन टर्म्स ऑफ परसेंटेज इन द बेंचमार्क इंडेक्स निफ्टी फिफ्टी इफ यू एड द फाइनेंशियल्स व्हिच वी कैन कॉल इट निफ्टी बैंक एंड निफ्टी फाइनेंशियल्स ऑफ द ट्विन ब्रदर्स सो दे हैव द साइजेबल वेटेज व्हिच गाइड द मार्केट मूव एंड देन कम्स द आईटी सेक्टर सो फ्रेंड्स इट बिकम्स वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू हैव अ इनडेप्थ एनालिसिस ऑफ बैंक निफ्टी especially at the time when it is in down trend of course it has not witnessed the bear market as, as as of now but certainly if you if you look at the market structure and the price action it is in down trend so in this video we will undertake the nifty bank or bank nifty price action analysis adopting the multiple time frame technical analysis approach to understand the price action and what could be the possible move in near future before we move to the price chart let us have a broader look of bank nifty at index level what is the valuation how it is looking earnings aspect what is the trend in earnings top 5 stocks which constitute the major portion of bank nifty and then we will go to the technical chart formation to undertake the multiple time frame technical analysis and finally based on the valuation and performance we will shortlist top 3 stocks which are from large cap categories so friends don't forget to subscribe the channel hit the notification bell so that you remain updated all the time let's straight away start our discussion and very interesting discussion on bank nifty friends if you have not liked the video like it right now friends and before i begin the uh, you know valuation aspect check on bank nifty uh, i would advise you to have a look to the video that we have brought yesterday on your channel on a detailed analysis on benchmark index nifty 50 and the inflation cycle rate valuation earnings all those stocks which was a very interesting analysis liked by so many viewers don't forget to watch that video so friends now we are looking at the pe ratio of bank nifty means at sector level what is the uh, price to earning ratio now this blue color line uh, represents the pe ratio while uh, the red color line represents the uh, bank nifty price on the price chart now coming back to if you can see here uh, in the recent time the pe ratio has risen to as high as 68 in july 2019 do you remember friends we had a bear market in 2020 so the valuation was quite expensive and there was a sharp fall in the price of bank nifty so obviously price earning ratio is nothing but the ratio of price and earning one as a numerator another as a denominator uh, denominator so now what has happened in the recent time price has risen after it has made a low of 19.9 in the month of march 2020 which was nearly resembling and coinciding to the end of the bear market 2020 now what we can see the present valuation of the uh ban nifty pe is it is stands at 17.87 only so it looks quite at a very attractive valuation because we can see whenever it has come in this zone we have seen the massive upside move in bank nifty on upside and this is the level which is lower than the level it made after the end of the bear market in march 2020 so it is available at a pretty attractive valuation now let us have a look towards the eps that is earning per share at index level now what we can see the recent jump in the bank nifty post closure of the bank uh, bear market in 2020 it was well backed up by the earnings also the earning kept on rising and hence 
there was not a much impact on the valuation aspect because the earning was rising the price was rising it looks like that the current valuation is quite good because the if earning is rising and pe ratio is quite uh, reasonable at this point of time which is a positive sign for the balanced pe let us have a look to the pb ratio price to book now what we can see this blue color line uh, represents the nifty bank while uh, this red color line is pb line the current pb is around 2.65 which is quite reasonable because the, uh, it it made a low of around 1.175 uh, uh, during the bear market low in the recent time in 2020 now what we can see here is 2.5 level is very important level and multiple time we have seen around 2 to 2.5 is a very good pb ratio from there we always see a jump in the bank nifty now let us check the broader constitution of bank nifty as an index friends top 5 stocks of bank nifty constitutes 85% of the in terms of weightage so those stocks are hdfc bank ICICI bank kotak bank and state bank of india axis bank if we check the weightage the highest weight weightage is of hdfc bank which stands at around 27.58% next comes ICICI bank with a weightage of 23.72% then kotak bank with a weightage of 12.3% and state bank of india 10.881% nearly 11% and excess bank 10.69% if we add up all these five banks so out of 12 constituents of bank nifty top five constituents constitute the 85% weightage which will finally decide the move in the bank nifty so at the end of this video after we complete the uh, you know price action analysis on the price chart of bank nifty we will shortlist among these five stocks which are the top stocks based on the performance and based on the valuation so stick till end of this video so that you don't miss out any important aspect of this analysis let us straight away go to the price chart of bank nifty to undertake the multiple time frame technical analysis now we are referring to the monthly price chart of uh, bank nifty friends what we can observe let us have first visual observation on the price chart whenever it is a, it is in a massive uptrending move in the monthly price chart it takes support at ema 21 whenever a correction takes place but whenever bear market comes it breaks down below ema 55 and for several months ema 55 uh, acts as a resistance which has happened in 2008 bear market and it has happened in 2020 bear market but besides that it has taken a uh, support on ema 50 fund and price is not sustained below ema 55 and immediately recovered so typical characteristics can be said to be that ema 55 on extremely deeper correction during the bull run of the market acts as a dynamic support while when shallow correction takes place ema 21 uh, becomes a, a important uh, support area what has happened this time post bear market 2020 when the price has risen uh, it started rising uh, after it made a low in the month of march 2020 at 16116 and straight away without any sizable or significant correction it made a high of 41829 so it was a parabolic rise as we discussed yesterday in nifty the same can be seen here on bank nifty now in the recent time there has been a sizable correction and the price from a very high of 41829.6 in the month of october it made a a uh, recent time low in march 2022 which was 32150 which means in terms of the range it there was a drawdown of nearly 23% however on a closing basis on a monthly chart the maximum correction ended at around 15 15.5% 
Now, what we can see in the recent time, price seems to be taking support at EMA 21. And let me superimpose some of the drawings to understand the price action on Bank Nifty uh, on a longer term horizon. Support here, support here, and the price has witness resistance, 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 multiple resistance, and the recent time also it is rejecting from the upper fiber of this rising price chart. So, so far as since very, very long, we can say since uh, uh, November 2010, the price is respecting this rising channel. So now price is trading above the middle fiber of the channel, which has acted here as a support and earlier it has acted as a resistance. So this middle fiber becomes now our reference point. And if the price breaks out above the upper, fi upper fiber of the channel, we might see a massive price expansion in Bank Nifty. Now, let us check the retracement with respect to the prior impulsive day. Price is taking support and respecting golden ratio that is 61.8%, which falls something around 34,800. In terms of the lower shadow it has made in a recent time, which nearly coincides to 78.6% uh, retracement level, which is nothing but the derivative of golden ratio, which falls at around 32,155. So this band seems to be acting as an important demand area, which is a confluence of EMA 21 and also a confluence of prior resistance, which is now acting as a support over here. Now, let us check it out as to why this correction is taking place. So this was the prior impulsive wave, which uh, uh, we can observe over here. So let us project the target based on the prior impulsive wave. What we can see, the price has attained uh, price has attained the target of 127.2% expansion and the correction started, which means when the trend resumption takes place, now post this downtrending move, next possible target would be 161.8% obviously. So it calculates to 47,700 level. So Bank Nifty might see on trend resumption a massive upside move, which will also enable the price expansion, possibility of a breakout of the upper fiber of this rising channel. Now we have arrived at the target of 47,770 on trend resumption. Now, if you see, this was the post bear market 2020. This was a kind of rounding pattern it has made. And if on the basis of rounding pattern, if we calculate the target, it comes at 47,630. So both ways we calculate the target, it is going past 47,000 level. And presently when we are doing the analysis, it is trading at 35,600. Now let us go to the uh, weekly price chart to understand and fine tune the price action. What we can see after this massive downtrend, it made a double bottom and then the market structure came to higher highs and higher lows kind of formation. Now in the recent time, this correction took place, when pullback took, uh, took place, price failed to make a new high and again corrected. So this can be considered as a complex correction, something uh, quite like ABCD pattern. And now this pullback, which took place, obviously was sold out. It made a double bottom. Price has taken support here. It was a resistance. It was a resistance. So obviously it is bouncing back of a key support area. Now, since it is in downtrend, we need some kind of reversal chart pattern to confirm as to whether the downtrend is over or not. Either price uh, uh, breaks above the apex of 4th April 2022, which is at 38,766, it will give a confirmation. However, in the uh, considering the recent action, if we, if we draw this trend line, I'm drawing this trend line, please watch closely. This trend line is very significant. Price has taken support, 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 breaks down, but did not sustain. Gap down candle opening on 7th uh, March and the consistent buying. And now the price is trading below this trend line. So immediately price is likely to face resistance at 37,100 uh, 
uh, 9237200 which is also uh, 38.2% retracement level with respect to the prior impulsive wave we have just arrived at monthly price chart so let us mark this important level uh, here on the price chart and this is the price chart and i am marking it as 37200 by rounding off 37200 becomes a very important level which will act as a resistance not because of the retracement level but because of the trend line if we closely observe left shoulder head and right shoulder it was merely a breakdown of head and shoulder formation but there is no follow through and hence we are defining it to be a abcd pattern or complex correction rather than the uh, breakdown in this price structure now let us go to the uh, daily price chart now we are on daily price chart what we can see it has made a recent correction and if we draw a trend line which will represent the resistance line this is the trend line price has seen rejection price has seen rejection price has seen rejection so here see the intersection of this trend line because it will take price will take some more time to go past 37200 so it might face a resistance at 37200 level which we have arrived through multiple time frame technical analysis or opting the top down approach now here this resistance line is also coming here so price will move price will move will first take resistance and sma 233 and sma confluence of sma 144 confluence of sma 200 so this zone is a resistance area so we can finally conclude that the zone between this trend line that we have drawn uh, in a weekly price chart and this trend line which we have drawn in the monthly price chart the zone between this two line is likely to be acting as a resistance supply zone and hence 37200 becomes a significant level the moment bank nifty starts trading above 37200 and stays there for a couple of days we can say that there is a trend reversal in bank nifty and can be observed very closely this is nothing but maybe upcoming neck line of inverse head and shoulder this is the head which has it has formed this is the left shoulder right shoulder under has been formed and the price is now making higher highs kind of market structure so those who are uh, beginner in stock market let me show show them to draw so this becomes a head and probably the trend line that we have drawn is nothing but the neck line of upcoming inverse head and shoulder so watch out the level 37200 and a breakout of this neck line of inverse head and shoulder that will uh, you know uh, enable the bank nifty to come in mark up phase and then again it will start making higher highs and higher lows kind of market structure so friends it looks like all those price actions suggesting that there is not much downside left in the bank nifty and it is in the process of making some kind of reversal chart pattern whether it will make or not i am not sure but we can always set an alert on the price chart and whenever that alert triggers we can always say now trend reversal has taken place now it is ready to off take and is in mark up phase now let us let us uh, analyze which are the top 3 stocks based on valuation and performance Uh, among the top five stocks, which are the constituents of Bank Nifty, uh, let us go and check it out. Little while ago, we discussed the top five bank stocks as a constituent of Bank Nifty in terms of weightage in the index. Now let us have the comparative analysis. Now Bank Nifty has a, a, a P ratio on TTM basis at seventeen point eight six. And PB of two point six five. Alpha of Bank Nifty has been minus six percent. We are comparing it with Nifty Fifty, the benchmark index, and the beta is one point one. So it is slightly more volatile than Nifty Fifty. Now current dividend yield is point eight one percent. This I am talking at index level. Now let us compare uh, SDFC Bank. It has a higher uh, P ratio than Bank Nifty. PB ratio is also higher 
and it has underperformed the benchmark index nifty 50 by 15.1 percent and the beta is okay it's not very volatile it is 1.06 the dividend yield is good 1.59 percent icsa bank although has a higher uh, P ratio uh, in comparison to that of Bank Nifty uh, and a higher PB ratio also. But in terms of performance, it has outperformed the benchmark index Nifty 50 by 8.6% and its beta is also quite okay, 1.04, which is less than the Nifty Bank and it is less volatile. The current dividend yield is also 0.27%. Now, Coming back to the Kotak Bank, it is looking quite expensive. It's a, a P ratio is 30.5, PB ratio is 4.5, which are uh, much higher than the uh, Nifty Bank. And it has underperformed also by 3.4% with respect to the benchmark index, Nifty 50. In terms of volatility, it is looking okay, and it's a poor dividend paying company. Now, SBI is looking very, very attractive. This public sector bank is looking very attractive. Its uh, P ratio is only 11.6, much lower than the benchmark index, much lower than any other top five banks. And PB ratio is also 1.7, which is the lowest among the top five. Uh, alpha, 1.9% so is outperformed the Nifty 50 and its volatility is a little higher, but more or less same as that of Nifty Bank. It's a Current dividend yield is 2.37%, which is the highest among all the peer group analysis. So in terms of valuation, we can say this ranks number one. And number two is Excess Bank. Its P is 15, which is lower than the Bank Nifty. And PB is two, which is also lower than the uh, Bank Nifty as an index. However, this has not performed well and it has underperformed the benchmark index Nifty 50 by 14%. It's a, a beta is 1.09. So we can see in terms of volatility, all the five stocks are more or less same. But in terms of performance, ICSA Bank scores the best and with a reasonable P ratio. So in the private sector, so in private bank, we can conclude Excess Bank and ICSA Bank. In terms of performance, ICSA Bank is the best. In terms of valuation in private bank, Excess Bank is the best. And SBI overall ranks number one among all these stocks. So my best pick is SBI, ICICI Bank, and Excess. However, we need to do the detail, a multiple time frame technical analysis to understand the price action and arrive at the value zone before we jump into buying any stocks. So that our risk to reward ratio is favorable. We do not take too much of risk so that it affects our reward aspect in the stock market. Friends, I hope this detailed analysis on banking sector uh, will help you to understand the market structure and banking sector as a whole. And if you like this video presentation, give a lot of thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to subscribe the channel, share the video and hit the notification bell so that you remain updated all the time.